Robin Kirby Gatto. I am here today with Walking with Wisdom, and it is going to be such a blessing with what the Lord is going to bring you today as He just encourages you in the strength of His Word. Some of y'all might not know the testimony of my healing from thyroid disease, and I never like to call the word disease disease because it's a disease. It's where your person has been disturbed, it's where the peace of God in you has been jolted and you've got to enter back into that peace and some of y'all need this word of encouragement it's just going to bless you because understood third john 1 2 says beloved above all things i wish you prosper in life and in health as your soul prospers as your soul prospers and i really get into that more in this new book mindfulness the mind of christ jesus living a meditated life and I also established God's Fire Hymn with the Soul series on Amazon after that scripture. And what is amazing is twice in 3 John 1, 2, it says, Beloved, I wish that you prosper above all things, even in life and in health as your soul prospers. And what is amazing is the testimony that God wants me to share of how he healed me of thyroid disease back in 2010. And so in 2002, I had to drop out of law school for a while because I ended up having thyroid dis-ease, hypothyroidism. And so as a result, I could not think, I could not function. I had had dementia fogs, I'd had massive pain throughout my body. I'd had massive waves of depression that would hit me all day long. And I gained 40 pounds that year. And it was horrific. Let me just stop for a minute because I don't want to run out of breath and I want to get this message to you. And so I ended up, after being on medication about seven and a half years for thyroid Hashimoto's, after being on thyroid medication for that, for uh, it's hypothyroidism, sorry, um, but I, I'll get to Hashimoto's in a minute. So I had hypothyroidism and my thyroid was underactive. And I was on medication that helped me. I was on Armour Thyroid, which is desiccated pig thyroid. And I was on it for seven and a half years. And after seven and a half years, my body went into what's called a thyroid storm. And I had both hyper and hypothyroid at the same time. Now, some of y'all might not think that's a big deal, but people actually die. When they go into a thyroid storm, it's very critical and you have to go to the emergency room really fast because there could be a possibility of death. And I was sent to an endocrinologist who recommended that I either kill my thyroid by taking a radiation pill or either have my thyroid take out surgically. And so I got a second opinion and that doctor said the same thing. But within my belly, remember that's your second brain, your gut feeling, that's where Holy Spirit is with your spirit man. Within my belly, I felt grieved. And I knew that that was God telling me and I just felt a quickening in my spirit. Do not let them take an organ out of your body, Robin. Now I'm not saying to avoid surgery, if you need surgery, especially if it's uh, endangering your life, if it's critical. I'm not saying that, I'm just telling you my experience. And so they took all medication away from me. And I have both hypothyroid, hyperthyroid. I am in this thyroid storm. My hair had been falling out for years, different times when I was not stabilized in my thyroid. And so my hair started falling out again, just in massive clumps. And I remember being in the shower one day and the still small voice of God quickened me and he said, Robin, is your hair falling out? And I was just like grabbing my hair and I was like, yes, God, look, you know, putting it up. My hair is falling out. And then Holy Spirit quickened me because you got to understand that I was in fear. I was in fear. And remember what I talked about the other day, fear takes from you. It sucks all life out of you. Jesus came, John 10, 10, to bring life and life abundantly. And so I was having all fear sucked out of me because of that diagnosis and because of my symptoms. And then all of a sudden God shifted me into faith and I just started speaking the word and I just started telling my hair that it was not falling out. And I started coming against every symptom that came upon my person. And 
saints, within about a year and a half, God brought healing to my body. Now, first and foremost, do not dismiss that food is your first medicine. So when you're talking about medicine to your body, God gave us food to be our medicine as well as our nutrients. So there was a radical change in my lifestyle as far as things back in 2009 that I could no longer allow within my temple, but I had to be vigilant and I had to guard against. But this is the thing, and this is the, what God spoke to me today, and He wants to encourage you because some of you might not have a physical dis-ease, but you might have an emotional or mental or even spiritual disease is what the Bible talks about. And remember, 3 John 1, 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper in life and in health as your soul prospers. And so at that same time, just to let you know my mental and emotional status at around that time of that hyper, at, at around that time of that thyroid storm where I was both hyper and hypo, I was under a mentor that was massively controlling, that had a Jezebel spirit and was keeping me below my identity. Now, I want you to hear that because some of you have unhealthy, unsafe people in your life that keep you below your identity. And I'll never forget at that same time, God cut me off from her and told me not to be around her, that she was not safe for my identity. She was not safe for who I am in Christ Jesus. And so my ears popped open one day and she had said this frequently, but I just, did, I did, I just didn't hear it. You understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all have people speaking around you every day and you're tolerating it and you're allowing it and, and you've made friendship with it and they're speaking curse words. And we're going to get into that because she kept calling me little Robin, little Robin, little Robin, little Robin, little Robin. And all of a sudden, Holy Spirit literally popped my ears when she said that the next time. And he said, Robin, do you hear that? Do you hear her calling you little Robin? He said, you are not little Robin. Get away from her. And I just immediately left her. And as soon as I left her, and those of y'all who have read my Jezebel notes know my testimony where I audibly heard and physically felt the tentacles of that spirit coming out of my spine. And then I felt the life of God come into me. Jesus came, John 10, 10, to bring life and life abundantly. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so Holy Spirit just gave me a new anointing, a fresh anointing of life and filled me. And the best description I can always tell you is it feels like I could run a marathon, a New York marathon. That's what it feels like when Holy Spirit just lifts you up and gives you that new anointing, Isaiah 40, 31, Psalm 92, 10. We see that where Holy Spirit gives us that new anointing, that fresh anointing. We'll get this, saints of God, because this is the word that God wants me to get today. And some of y'all really need this, and you're going to need it in the future. You're going to need it now, because again, some of you might not be experiencing physical dis-ease, but you might be experiencing spiritual, emotional, mental dis-ease, relationship dis-ease. And God told me this. He said, Robin, do you know there's only one letter difference between the curse and the cure? And it's S. And he said, S is the sickness. It is the sickness of fear. And that when that sickness is removed from your person, you no longer have the curse, but you have the cure. Oh my goodness, I feel the fire of Holy Spirit on my legs, trembling with Holy Spirit and fire. And I'm telling you, saints of God, that is an anointed word for some of you right now, that you're tolerating the sickness of fear, and it has become a curse against your soul. And it's causing emotional, mental, relationship dis-ease, and even physical dis-ease. And you need to realize that love the love of Christ is your cure. So when the sickness S is removed from the curse, you're no longer cursed, but you're cured. So look at that, saints of God, and think about that. What unhealthy relationships are you tolerating where you're being cursed? Because you know what? You need to redefine them because they're identifying you. They're limiting God's greatness in you. And you need to walk in the fruit of Holy Spirit. You need to walk in peace because 3 John 1, 2 says, Beloved, I wish that you prosper above all things in life and in health as your soul prospers. 
Remember to listen to the wisdom of Holy Spirit and to do what the Father's told you to do in taking care of your temple, but also walk in faith, love. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.